<laughs> Let's see, girly drinks. Uh, we'll try a different girly drink here. We'll try Fluffy Dream. All aged. What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bar serve drinks. A bar? So I figured you should get so I figured I should get you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down. Why do you assume that we're going to why would you assume that you need to go straight back into unconsciousness? Pumpkins? God, no, I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know. If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they dock my pay and tips. <laughs> Yeah. Not to mention I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who could p commits that particular felony. They'd show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is just... Brrr. Even if you say that. Let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell you the cashier the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Humph. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street? Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet paper's locker? What about- oh my god. How? Why? How? I'm back. He tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. Says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. Good point, but first of all, it's not my name, it's my boss's. Second, we are pretty much part of a chain, sort of like the spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered you it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right, as it is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink, go through that door, and forget this ever happened. <laughs> and that would be it. You're at peace, and nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of attention would yield no difference? Nah? What about the drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? Someone, she could drink it herself if she wanted. No, I... Well, I'll let you know. I'm not that unimportant and your work does matter. Um, not sure you should drink it all so fast. Hmm. So how was it? It was fine, but not something I'd order normally. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd have probably reacted the same way. I apologize for my last comment, too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crash outside. I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets. Stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick. I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what. Your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here for the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay then, I'll take you up on your offer. I'll have a piano, man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just gulped the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. 
Oh, piano man, let's see here. Uh, one, two. We want that to be clicked. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Ah, ah! Four, five. One, two, three. <laughs> this drink does not represent the opinions of bar pianist, the bar pianist union, or its associates. Piano man, here. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these before actual pianists attempt to, attempted to kill him. Oh, before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. What did he do? Your dad, I mean, to provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. Excuse me for one second. He was re relaxing in the bar when suddenly the pianist left stri leapt straight off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and my dad looked like he like some kind of music critic that bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. I see. The Piano Man has been an interesting story. Or has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his... <clears throat> Sorry. I'm gonna read the whole sentence and then try it. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently it mixes all of the flavors that said friend liked the most. Oh, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of the newspaper called The Augmented Eye? We just met that guy. I read it I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That jerk leaves his reek wherever he goes. So you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about doing the things he wants that people have done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. What? A full week passed before the pizza shop was aware asked where he was. And would you believe it? The guy became decent at server maintenance, despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Ugh. That is very weird. If I saw that, like, play out in front of me, I would probably laugh at it. Knowing that I have to work for him is... Ugh. Why are you working there, then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? No, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. It's hard to be- is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. You just gotta mix things together, right? You keep going through the motions while trying to provide- right, while trying to provide something of quality. All while answering to the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point I thought about being a bartender, but I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes or dance or, or, and dance or something. Eh. Here we go again. I guess this is a common fear. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know. 
I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco <laughs> overseen by a DJ with an afro. <laughs> My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person, what with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's so cool and collected, but she has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's a bit tense the last couple of days. But even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that. <laughs> she, she seems pretty normal to me so far. It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One wow, that one's popular today. Six, hit the clock, and one, two, three, one. Ta-da! Here you are. Yep, this seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey, Jill. Was this job, like, a lifelong dream or something? Not really, it just kinda happened. One thing led to another, and BAM! Bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a modern or a model warrior Julianne arcade machine. Oh! Is this why? Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You ever had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been just silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams. Having a room where every piece of furniture talks, being a model warrior. Oh, childish dreams, yeah. I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast with me. So, no dreams? None that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs. But I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I see. Finally! Those dogs left a mess. I'm not gonna forget this anytime soon. I mean, how did they throw the toilet paper out the window? Oh, a client. Good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of the smell clinging to my body. Sure. Uh, who was he? A ghost. Nobody you should worry about. Oh. I heard that. <laughs> Why were you asking all those questions? Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take a liking to a job and others just find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn and makes you change plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm gonna take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Thank you and come again. And that's it. Are we done for the night? It seems like it. Where's Gil, and where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank? Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks, and left. So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey boss, do you feel like calling you boss is too impersonal? Hmm, not really, no. 
It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger. It's just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Total earnings, drinks total, mistakes, commission 25%, today's payment, tips, flawless service bonus, ouch. Here's an extra for helping that girl calm down. Nice. I think I helped her out. Jill is lost in thought about a hollow planet buying it will prevent her from getting distract too distracted. Okay. Hollow plant. I think I said hollow planet. You can down you can browse blah. You can visit okay. So four. You weren't gonna have curry yesterday? A ghost took my money. So I can save here, right? Yeah, there we go. We'll save there. Maybe I should have saved in a different slot in case this recording doesn't work for some reason. And, uh, let's see here. Let's look at the augmented eye real quick. Local woman, local hero. 70% of our readers consider... I think Alice Rabbit maybe... Might be a nice dog. Don't trust this dog. What? A dog, you say? Why not? After receiving brain enhancements, they're capable of learning at near human speeds. So why is it impossible to imagine a diff your gifted dog? I almost said, I almost said, gifted dog, which would be strange. Brilliance for programming. Well, maybe zero one, a bunch of binary stuff, I guess. Okay. What's this? Mikiri con- oh! Miki concert too. Dangerous opinions. Oh, this is like a uh... A page looks silly. It's amusing in its own way. I should probably pay attention to what's over on the right side here. Alright, so. Let's limit all the conversation, the concert conversation to this thread. How are you preparing for the best day of your life? I'm going, strike through with my boyfriend. Why do you lie on the internet? <laughs> wow. What is going on? <clears throat> okay, that is so cute, Anon. Anyway, I'm going with a very special friend of mine. Are you the girl from the other day who had a crush on her best friend? Yes. So you're finally going to confess, oh my god. This is going to be the cutest thing. I still don't know if I like her. Just wait until Miki shows up. You'll be... You know, right away if you love her. Trust me, I've been there. <clears throat> Miki concerts are some... They're magical. You will understand once you're there with her. Okay, let's talk about Alice Rabbit. What it says on the tin, so what's the news on them? Drawing a blank right now. Have you heard of I haven't heard of Alice in a while, now that I think about it. You think they're planning something? Happy not birthday? <laughs> where was where does it say that? Probably somewhere in the thread. Rumor about a terrorist attack next week. Don't scare me with that stuff, I have enough as it is. I think we're going to be attacked, and it will be funny to see those white knights do nothing but drink. How do you know if you get hacked by Alice? It's my first time reading about them. Lurk more. She normally leaves a funny... I don't know what that means. Drawing and message. Something like Happy Not Birthday. <laughs> Sounds lame. Why is Alice even a celebrity? Alice was the only one who leaked all the internal white knight memos. She literally started riots with the leaks. At least try with your baits. Miki Concert 2. Does anyone know of childhood romance romances that succeeded in real life? You're just lonely. Um, I'm with her. In the last thread, Anon wants to confess her feelings to her best friend. I still don't know. 
And how is she? I bet she's one of those cute, clueless girls who can't who can't catch your signals. Hmm, you say that, but she can be incredibly sharp sometimes. So I was right, that's going to be difficult. Now you have to be direct into the point. Oh no, not the direct approach. I'm afraid that that's going to be the case here. Not that I'm actually in love, stop. I'm going to marry Miki. Stop being such an attention grabber, we're here for Miki. Come on and on, don't be mean, we're just here to help a- God, God, I hate people. I don't like- I do- uh, I don't like these kind of people. <clears throat> Come on and on, don't be- yeah. You don't have to fight because of me, it wasn't the atten it wasn't my intention to derail the thread. Don't pay attention to her, everyone else here wants to help you. I'm a guy. I'm a guy. Now who's the attention grabber again? Okay. Uh, let's click on here and see if they have anything to say. The shrimp is so artificial it doesn't trigger my allergies. Alright, that's funny. Add app. I guess I can't do that. Oh, wait, that's what it would be. Okay, shop. She wanted a hollow plant? Hover on an item to examine it. Alright, let's see here. Cute clay houses. I could tear one off the wall, and but they have germs. Cute clay house, cutesy game poster. Pink haired witch flying on a broom. I can't see, I can't really tell if that's what anything would be. What about the movie poster? Night of the ID Snatchers, beloved police mockumentary. PC 9X. It's vintage gaming experience, all the converts and load times as they were meant to be. <laughs> nice. Despite the noisy name, it's just a fan. Fans are good, though, really good. In memory of the real potted plant. <laughs> Paper lantern. Right, that would still keep like $800 in our account. There we go. Alright, Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. Nice. Alright, I'm just gonna save here one more time. And then go on to work.